Hey there, Impact Wrestling fans. BQ here. Wanted to drop a bit of news that I just came across. Now, I have no other additional information on this. I'm strictly passing along something that I read. But Impact Wrestling fanatic Dave Meltzer has reported that Impact Wrestling has interest in Jeff Cobb. Now, if you're not familiar with Jeff Cobb from the indies or his work with New Japan or even his work with Lucha Underground as uh, the Monster Matanza, this is a talented guy um kind of like a keith lee where he's just he's not really built to do the moves that he he does <laughs> he's really impressive in the ring so look him up if you're not familiar um this could be really interesting regarding the 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 potential relationship with new japan because right now with new japan and you know ring of honor for that matter they're not there yet impact wants a partner with these guys they're not there yet but this would go a long way because this is someone who works heavily with New Japan and wants to continue to work heavily with New Japan. And if he does sign with Impact, you know, obviously it wouldn't be an exclusive deal, but um, he would still be able to work his New Japan dates. Now, a guy like Brian Cage, you know, um, who seems to be really happy right now, you know, if you just go off his tweets and his Instagram, seems to be really happy with Impact right now. Um, rightfully so because i'm sure he's going to get a huge push but having guys like that from lucha underground it helps to bring in other guys and create that positive working environment kind of like when mike bennett signed and gave us that wonderful unforgettable year um you know he helped bring moose aboard and i'm sure moose does his fair share of recruiting as well the people who say oh anthem rolled over and died because of the broken gimmick and this and this look this is they're going a new direction to make it easier to bring on new talent and where talent can come sign get tv time get a nice paycheck and not compromise not have to worry about compromising who they are and compromising other dates they're making it very easy to come be a part of impact wrestling apparently they try to bring him on for this set of tapings and they could not structure a deal that worked so you know Possibly in the future, I'm sure it wasn't something they, you know, was was uh, first on their plate because obviously getting Aries in there, Brian Cage in there, and they were still talking to Rey Mysterio at the last minute. You know, obviously it probably wasn't a priority, but maybe by this next set of tapings we see him. It'd be interesting to see how they book him. You know, I don't know that you could put him in the main event picture like in the Indies. Obviously, absolutely. Now. Impact was interested in Michael Elgin not too long ago, but then when the drama happened with him online, you know, they, they pulled the plug on that. And Jeff Cobb was his tag team partner in the uh, in that tournament in New Japan. I don't follow New Japan very closely. Let me just put it out there. I don't know what the, the tournament is called. Sometimes I'll watch it on Access TV, but as far as like the current product, I don't really I don't really follow it very closely. Not that I don't think it's good. I just I just don't follow it. But I guess, you know, there, there appears to be a little bit of drama between the two, even though Jeff Cobb brushed it off. But if this is someone they're interested in, it would, uh, I think it would be really cool because this is a guy who's, you know, very um, once in a generation talent, in my opinion. And, and, and again, like for his size, his body type, like he does, he does moves that you're just like, how is that even humanly possible for a guy like that? So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if this is someone you'd like to see an impact, you know, for me to put that out there. I mean, I, I want to put it out there that I don't know any other additional information and I want to put it out there that I don't think he would be booked in a prominent role, but I'm no expert. I'm not backstage at impact. You know what I mean? But if we're just kind of using common sense, I could see him, you know, in a really solid mid card role, but that's about it. I think in Lucha Underground, he works in the main event scene with the mask. Um, I couldn't see him necessarily an impact in the main event scene. So, uh, interesting stuff. And again, I think these kind of, you know, working with guys who work with Lucha Underground, work with New Japan, like it really is going to help bridge that gap because they want to work with Ring of Honor, New Japan, but they're not there yet. They've, they've built some nice partnerships and then obviously with indie, indie companies, but they're not there yet with what I think their ultimate goal is and is to work with those two highly respected companies i think those companies want to see what anthem does in 2018 first that's that's where i think if i'm using my head i think that's where we're at with this i think i think they want to see what kind of company anthem is going to run and 
what kind of, you know, goodwill hopefully the wrestlers bring from it and, you know, what positive things they say. So just my personal thoughts. But uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see Jeff Cobb. And, uh, you know, all the rumors that have been leaking out lately, there's, there's been truth to them. You know, I don't think we've had anything out of left field that uh, that didn't have truth. So hopefully this is another one because I like this guy. He's talented. Talk to you soon. Peace.